<clears throat> Hello, everybody. So I have a guest. We're working on some technical issues, so she's probably going to pop back in. But hello, welcome. How is everybody doing? Um, okay, let's see if this works. There we hello, go. can you hear me? Okay, cool. So we are live. I decided I was like, okay, we're like a little late. <laughs> um, so if you are joining us, here's the plan for tonight. Today, the semifinal round of the Goodreads Choice Awards just went live, and I have not yet looked at what made it to the semifinals with write-ins or voted. So we're gonna do that together. Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Stella. Oh, yay, glad people are here. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna mix in productivity sprints. Um, hey, Tara. So Isabella is joining me tonight. I'm gonna let her introduce herself in a second, but the way we're gonna do this, just to give you an overview is we're gonna do like two or three categories, I'm thinking, in voting, and then we'll do a productivity sprint. <laughs> you can read, you can work, whatever, and then we'll vote in more categories and like chat our, our thoughts about the nominees. Um, hi, Patricia. So Isabella, if you want to introduce yourself. Oh, so I'm, I'm Isabella. I'm Bethany's friend who's a bookseller. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you sometimes have cool events that you run from yeah, that's the, true. the bookstore. <laughs> At least, yeah. Writing probably of the last couple months, Y.E. Trivia was probably the highlight. <laughs> that was super fun. Yeah. So she is the feminist bookworm on Instagram if you want to follow her over there. Hello. Okay. Um, you already voted. That's okay. I have not. So I thought maybe it would be interesting to share. And I always like having guests on to do stuff with me because it's more fun with other people. All right. So let me see if I can. Um, okay. Let me go to see if it'll let me share my screen. Yeah, which do we know which categories we want to do first, or? Just I mean, whatever is at the top. Okay, I mean, so fiction. Um, yeah, I'll just start with whatever is kind of like move, work our way down, pretty no, basically. My phone is balanced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to share. There we go. Cool. Okay, so that is working. Good. So we're gonna go to the semifinal round and see what books made it. So we'll start with fiction. How many are there? Cause like, okay, so we have, can I do math this late at night? That That is the question. <laughs> uh, 12, so there's 12 categories. How many sprints do we wanna do? I guess is the question of like how many. Um, Wait, there's only 12 categories? Mm -hmm. Why do I see 20? 20 categories? No, not 20 nominees, 20 categories. Fiction, mystery, thriller, historical fiction. Fantasy, Fantasy. romance, science fiction, humor. Wait. Oh, are there two for humor? Horror. Oh, that's humor. Horror. Okay. Yeah. Um, Horror, because... One, two, three, four. Oh, you're right. I can't do math. That's my problem. Okay, it's four times five. You're right. There's 20. <laughs> this is great. <clears throat> I'm it's it's late, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hi. Hey Krista. No, you're right. I was thinking it was four by four, but it's a five, it's a five by four grid. I'm guys, okay. So there are 20 categories. <laughs> it's <laughs> thank you, everybody. Yes. There are, there are 20. We got it. We got it. Okay. So um, 20 categories. How many sprints do we want to do? I guess is kind of the question how we want to divide this up. Um, do we maybe want to do like five and four and like do four categories on a sprint or I mean, divide it up more? Maybe let's do five categories okay. and four sprints. That seems. Yeah. That's yeah. Doable. Okay. Let's do that. So this is what, now now that we've figured this out. All right, so we're going to start with fiction. Okay. <laughs> so this is great, guys. Very okay. high high quality entertainment. So there should be, yeah, from what I understand, then there should be five added books. From yeah. Okay. Five. So I'm so super curious. Okay. So things that have been added. 
Um, oh my God, Migrations wasn't there before. I love Migrations. Oh yeah, okay. I've heard good things about it. I've not like, read we did an, that. I did an event with her um, mm -hmm. and Caroline is her editor, so. Okay, <laughs> That's got like, it. So I still have not read very many of these. So if I had your face, I think was an add in. I don't know anything. See, I'm not going to know yeah. anything about most Let's of see. these. Uh, Dear Edward was there last time I've read Dear Edward. I quite enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I, I so annoyed. But real <laughs> life. Oh Dear yeah. Edward. Real life was a, was a, a write in. Yeah. I've heard good things about transcendent yeah, kingdom. My People boss loves liking it. Kingdom. Yeah. Um, um Okay, so people in the comments, if you have any comments on these, let us know. I So I want to read Such a Fun Age, and I have read The Death of Vivek OG. I think I, there's a couple others on my TBR, sort of, but like the Frederick Bachman book, mm -hmm. maybe The Glass Hotel. Um, yeah, My Dark Vanessa is yeah. on my list, Such a Fun Age, which I, some of these I can't believe I still haven't read. Um, yeah. But yeah, of these, I've only read two of them, Dear Edward and Migrations, and I liked both of them a lot, but okay. I would, for me, I would go with, I'm going to go with Migrations. Okay. So I have only read Death of Vivek OG. For this round, I think if I've read something, I'm just going to go ahead and vote. I don't think I did that for the opening round, but I'm just going to, I'm going to do that. Yeah. So I have read that. I liked it. <laughs> so we're going to vote for that. Um if anybody has something to say, let me know. Oh yeah, okay, we've got some comments, let's see. Like such a fun age, but don't think it should win the category. Okay, that is one I do want oh, to Oh yeah, read, we should do, what do we but... think, what are our predictions? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Predictions for what's gonna win, everybody, let us know. Like anxious pe people, but not your favorite, okay, okay. Haven't read, yeah, some of these, if you haven't read anything, I just don't vote if yeah, I don't know enough do to I. vote. Liked Lester, loved Glass Hotel, such a fun age is good too. Okay, cool. Same with Una, out of order, was fun and I enjoyed it, but wouldn't vote for it. Okay, interesting. So guys, let's predict, let me look at, let me see, what do I think is gonna yeah, win? And like if Everybody I give us a prediction. recommend migrations. Like I think, I feel like it's it's because it was the number one like lead indie next pick. So I feel like it's, mm -hmm. it's very well loved and like very well received in like, I think the bookseller world that I can't speak to the other words. I mean, I watch a decent amount of YouTube. <laughs> But I feel like it's like, um, gosh, what what are words? What am I looking for? Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. um, what are those videos <laughs> people do about like books that like they wish more people would read that are good? Underhyped. That's not not the word I'm thinking of, but or <laughs> underrated. But underrated. Underrated. Okay. Um, okay. Fair enough. I'd say yeah. it's like underrated everywhere else, and it's okay. I think a really great piece of literature. Okay. I, okay, so we've got some guesses in here. I'm gonna guess maybe My Dark Vanessa. I feel like that's been yeah. really big this year. It's too much for me because I've read like detailed reviews. So I'm not planning on reading it, but I do hear it's good and I wouldn't be shocked if that was the winner. Yeah, okay, it's so. It's so funny because My Dark Vanessa originally, so like everyone knows the controversy around American Dirt and like <laughs> I'm not even gonna speak about it because I've had enough mm -hmm. of it. Like I literally had two customers <laughs> get into a fight over that freaking book like wow. um but what's funny is like so that was an oprah book pick, like book club pick and then i think mm -hmm. my dark vanessa was coming out maybe even the very next month or like the month after that was also supposed to be an oprah pick but then they like scrapped it um mm -hmm. because there was controversy around that as well which i think that the controversy around that one is much less mm -hmm. than a american dirt but they mm -hmm. literally they just like oprah was like I, i'm not dealing with any more of this i'm Sorry. And I'm like, oh, that's like a kind of bad for the author. It's like I a, mean, a bad thing to yeah. lose out on. Yeah. I mean, it's controversial though. I mean, you got to know if you're writing that, but yeah, something might yeah. happen. Um, okay. So we've got a prediction for Transcendent Kingdom. Yeah. A lot of these, I think we like do. any could go. My Dark Vanessa. Yeah. That was kind of my guess. Okay. So you read this, Isabella. Is migration slow paced and ultra literary? Um, That's a good question. Um. I would say it is definitely very literary, but there's a, a lot of mystery and like the, the protagonist is, there's a lot of mystery. Uh, the protagonist is, I would say is like an unreliable narrator. Um, I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's not like you're, it's like not like a Marie Lu book, which is like who I think of as someone who like, whose books are like super fast paced, like 
but it's like it's slower but it has so much mystery to it that it keeps mm-hmm. you going um and it's slightly future like it takes place like in the near future where like climate change has progressed a bit further and one of the main effects is that um animals are really no longer um there are just very few of them left everywhere and so this very damaged um woman who's an ornithologist is kind of hitchhikes her way onto a boat to follow the final migration of uh the arctic tern um and it sounds like it like that doesn't sound very interesting but it's it's like it's a book like unlike anything i've ever read yeah no i've heard i've heard people say good things about it like it doesn't necessarily appeal to me so much it's a very short book too it's good yeah it's like under a bunch of stuff so i'm not gonna grab it but it's like under 300 pages okay yeah another possibly my dark vanessa or i'm not sure about this a bachman maybe anxious people yeah a lot of good with a lot of voices good yeah okay uh, it is like we have to remember it is kind of a popularity <laughs> thing like Kayla, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like, of course one thing she says that's interesting is that none of the write-ins ever make it to the final round because like they don't get enough votes which yeah doesn't make enough which doesn't make sense for them to run it that way but yeah. a lot of these are very very popular popular like mm-hmm. we have oprah picks we have a couple of read the jenna picks we've got just yep. some very well-known authors yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty typical. Yeah. Okay. We got to move it along. Or we're not oh, yeah. do anything. <laughs> okay. Um, so I did went with the death of Vivek OG, which I did really like. It's a good book. I don't think it's going to win, but I, yeah, I, I don't, thought it was very, it's not going to win either because it's not even yeah. like, so right. Yeah. One, clearly. Um, All right. Mystery thriller. Okay. Confessions on the 745, I think is new. Um, what else? I'm trying to, Okay, so I see a lot of things that I don't know super well. Oh, was the night the night swim? I think was a write in. That was very good. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. intense, but like <laughs> the very good. Is still there, because of course, uh, of course. <laughs> I didn't. That I was makes not me a fan. so bad. Yeah. Um. So, how many have you read in this? I don't uh, think I've read any of the write in. Too many. Um. Let's see. Uh, Home before dark. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> vote for. Okay. Uh, the guest list. The wives. Um, of course, the Robert Galbraith book is there. Oh my god! Always, um, yeah. <laughs> that book is a I like this thick because we decided not to put it out. Like we decided we were like we're we did the same thing with American Dirt. Well, eventually, because mm-hmm. we, we pulled up. Like what we did essentially with that book was we decided not to like put it out like on the shelf, but to like have it on the shelf like behind. So like if people were um asked her be like oh yeah I think we have it we just haven't put it out yet like we just like, mm-hmm. go and grab it and then we weren't going to order anymore but mm-hmm. it was so heavy like I swear it, this thick <laughs> but like people people love it like yeah I almost like wonder what it would be like if it hadn't been revealed that who the <laughs> who Robert Galbraith actually is but I don't know it's they're very very popular yeah. Um, so I think oh. I've read six of these. Yeah, Night yeah, Swim. Night Swim is very good. Louise Penny um, is just super, super popular. Like yeah. I swear we ordered yeah, probably 30 list. copies of that book and okay. all of them went. Interesting. Oh. Haven't read any in the category. Oh, the Sundown, Sundown Motel. You've read that. Sundown one. Motel is good. I did. I Yeah, I love what I've read from her. Home Before Dark is what you voted for. Okay, cool. <laughs> Somebody else, a couple people voted for that one. What? Simone St. James is great. The Sundown Motel is very good. They're different books, but I, I do think they're worth reading. Yeah, the guest list is good. Like, I enjoyed it, but I don't think it should win. Home Before Dark was good. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I will vote for it either, even though it was one of my favorite books that I have, like, in terms of enjoyment. Yeah. But, like, I don't know that it's the book I want getting the win, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, one by one, I want to listen to. I hear it's that it's a mystery and not a thriller man people have a lot to say here okay we're man how are we like even gonna do sprints goodness gracious winter counts was good okay cool all right so what are you voting for here i've read six of these the first time oh shoot what did i do um the first time around i voted for um but did you do when no one, one when no one is yeah. when no one is watching which i might do again i gave it five stars i really i i just think i think it's a really important it. I agree, and I and I just think Alyssa yeah. want to see her get more national attention. Yeah. I'm going to vote for that. Oh, everyone, donate to Romancing the Runoff. Speaking of Alyssa, yes. Cole, if you can. Or if you are a writer, 
as this is going to go in an announcement video this oh, week. But if you're the auction, it has oh, I know. I no, I'm no, not that. I uh, oh. donated. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no stuff. yeah no 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 if no for people who are writers i i donated a manuscript critique that's awesome so, that's yeah. so awesome um uh i let's see we donated now. well i mean i donated well, like i curate yeah, we donated uh, i i want to say it was either four or five arcs including the new case and the because we have extra copies of that one mm-hmm. um nice. a $50 gift card to the store um this like really um these this mug this like Kamala Harris mug with a quote we have we have a bunch of them that are like that like we have a John Lewis one we have a Colin Kaepernick one I have mm-hmm. like an AOS like the the brand like does some really good stuff and then some Joe Biden chocolates um because <laughs> we ha- we actually have Joe Biden chocolates oh my um, goodness that's funny so wow yeah so that'll be that'll be fun we've got a couple guesses <clears throat> yeah Night Swim maybe I would kind of guess probably Home Before Dark or Run by One as well, just because I think Ruth wears. Although Robert Galbraith books, yeah, seem or even the Louise Penny pretty- one because she's also or like Penny. has a cult following. Yeah, um, definitely. Or you are not alone because or the Ruth. Well, Ruth Ware didn't win last time, and like I no. don't think. Yeah, maybe not. It's probably it's probably going to be like one of these bigger authors. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> to historical You're fiction. Okay. Um. Have I, do I know any, okay, guys, if you want to comment, put write stuff in the comments. I don't think, okay, yeah, I have not read any of the write-ins. One of them. <laughs> yeah, so Jane Austen Society was there originally, and that one I've read, and I think that is still the only of these that I've read. Vanishing Half that's is on my TBR. I want to yeah, read that that's one. my, that's the one, yeah. I'm the one I would pick. So I'm going to be voting for the Jane Austen Society, which I loved. It was wonderful and so charming. Um, I also don't read too much historical fiction in general. Yeah, um, I don't read that much of it There either. are a few YA ones that are coming out that, that look really interesting, yeah. which is funny because the historical fiction, that because I also consider Addie LaRue to be historical fiction. And I think I might have written that one in because I... Yeah, kind of. I wouldn't call it historical fiction. I mean, it's historical-ish, but it's really speculative. It, it's but I was it's like, very speculative. I, <laughs> I, I think this is true, Christine, that Book of the Month picks tend to... Yeah, I'll, I see a lot of Book of the Month picks on here, which is, is yeah, interesting. There are a ton of them in the fiction category, too, like... A oh, lot of this them. is interesting. Louise Penny and Galbraith were write ins. That's were. a good point. Yeah. Oh, well, then they won't win. Okay. So maybe Riley Sager yeah. might be. I maybe. feel like did Final Girls, I feel like Final Girls might have won the year it came out. I, I don't but, know. You know what? That would have been what, 2017? Somebody feels like the vanishing half is going to is gonna I win. Think so. I, that yeah, I wouldn't be awesome. surprised. I've heard it's fantastic. Yeah, I do. That's one I really want to read. Um, Yay. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think Jane Austen Society will win either, but I really liked it. So. Um, yeah. Elende or Kid will win. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Mm. <laughs> I haven't read I any of check. them. At least yeah. they're like right. You can check the the past results like right yeah. on the bar. So I'm okay. just not, it's going to bother me if I don't look. And Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Isabel Allende, I've seen, um, I also feel like the James McBride one has been pushed a lot. I haven't heard much about it, but like, yeah. I feel like I've seen mm-hmm. it from publishers a lot. Yeah. Like, and it's also an Oprah pick. Anytime it's an Oprah pick, okay. they vote well, that, that would explain it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Vanishing Half and We're the Lost Wanderer in a five-star predictions video. Yeah. Vanishing Half, half I, I do want to read. I'm actually right now listening to um, Passing oh. by Nella Larson, which they have very similar thematic content. Your and so, that is also beautiful. Where did you get so it? Pretty. I found it at the Strand. I don't know. <laughs> like It's really beautiful. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm listening to that and it's it's really interesting. But I so I kind of want to do a comparison, like also read Vanishing Half and then mm-hmm. like compare the two of them. For those who don't know, um Passing by Nella Larson was written during the Harlem Renaissance, and it's I mean what it says about being white passing, which is and it's 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 very interesting. Um okay, so moving on, how many have we done now? That's three, right? Uh yeah. So we're gonna do five. Okay, so fantasy, fantasy, my baby. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's see. We have Michael J. Sullivan was written in. Patricia Briggs was written in. Joe Abercrombie. Not shocked there. 
Um, do we have? Do we have another Jim Butcher written in? <laughs> okay. Um, Will Wright Winter Steel. I have never heard of this one. That's interesting. This is the easiest category for, for was the easiest category for me to vote. <laughs> yeah. Even though I've read more, of course, in the YA right. categories. Um. City we begin. So I have read quite a few of these, yeah. or they're all on my TBR. But this is really easy for me because Black Sun. My, yes, easily <laughs> my favorite adult fantasy of the year is Black Who Sun. To so. guess which one I voted for, <laughs> Addie Larue. <laughs> I hope right. you were joking. Oh no no no! Oh, gosh. I hope you're joking. Like, oh no no no! Crescent City. I'm like, oh, that's right. That's like because you were just talking about Addie Larue and that like. Yeah, okay. it's funny because like. It's gonna. It's my favorite book of the year. I think. I think I've read it three times at this point. But also, mm. it was the first book I read this year. I think I completed it January first. <laughs> it's wow. almost like, even though I've read so many great books this year, it's almost like, mm -hmm. what was the point of this entire? I mean, like, what was the point of this entire year? To be honest, because it's just been a, you know what? So, um, I don't want to get you demonetized. Um, but like, it's also it's like, what was the point of this entire year? If the first mm -hmm. book I read this year was the best book. <laughs> Well, like, yeah, you know. I mean, I liked it, but definitely for me, like, hands down, Black Sun is amazing. Uh, um, City. yeah, Addie LaRue and City We Became are both also. I want to read that. I've I started Addie LaRue and I need to pick it up again. It's one of those books I feel like I need to take my time with. Oh, yeah, for sure. It took me because I read, uh, yeah. so like, I read a bound manuscript for like blurbing, like, I want to say in February, so like pre COVID, like, it feels like another mm -hmm. lifetime yeah. ago. The only reason like Crescent City doesn't feel that way is because I've like read it twice since mm -hmm. then but um it, it literally it took me over two weeks to read just to read that manuscript and I loved it but it mm -hmm. for me like it took me like that's yeah um, it, it never takes me that long to read a book yeah no. um, but then I yeah, read it the second time like when I came out and um it, it was a lot quicker but yeah it's the kind mm -hmm. of book that I think you want to read slowly and you want to like yeah it's like the starless sea I feel like. yeah you need to take your time with it it is that kind of book yeah Black Sun is perfect, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, TJ Klune is a great pick. I loved that one. Yeah, I haven't I read Burning God yet. Bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. Master Schwab is going to, yeah, I mean, probably. Like, which, you know. And both of like, them, I will both... say, are very good. Well, I mean, yeah. like, obviously, I think, I mean, I think both of them are going to be on with make my favorites of the year list. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. that's take take from that what you will, because they happen to, because Sarah J. Mass also is my favorite author but mm -hmm. you know like I also discovered her in high school so <laughs> yeah I I mean I like Sarah J Mass, but I don't think she's like the best fantasy author so oh, I don't yeah. know but um but fantasy romance. Became, like because N.K. Jemisin is like got that big fellowship thing so I don't know but oh, the MacArthur, yeah. Like, MacArthur, yeah Piranesi is a trip that's on my TBR I want to read it Sanderson, yeah, Sanderson. <laughs> that wouldn't even come I out. mean, yeah, it comes out the 17th. So I think that's the cutoff date oh. for. Yeah. Oh, sad. You know what? House in the Cerulean Sea is not for everybody. It is like a soft, sweet, warm hug of a book, which I love. But if you were going in expecting more of a fantasy than like a sweet, soft fantasy romance, then you would probably be disappointed. But that's what it is. It's like a sweet hug of a book. And I, I loved it a lot. But I, I've, I've heard other people read. Say. Oh, sorry. How I many? <laughs> oh, how many of these have I read? That's a good question. Let's see. I have. Hold on. I have read. Um. Uh, Bone Shard Daughter, Black Sun, House in the Cerulean Sea, Empire of Gold, Deadly Education, and Crescent City. So I've read six of them, but I own a lot more or have them on my TBR. Okay. So like, yeah. So like, I have. I own Embers of. Salt and Fortune, and Once in Future Witches. I don't own, but I want to read Girl in the Stars, but I don't have it yet. I own City We Became, and Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and Pyrenees. Well, so like at home in Chicago. Whereas... Yeah. Um, Cerulean Sea is <laughs> such a cinnamon roll. Yes, it is, which I, I love. It it was so sweet. Anyway. Yay, Black Sun. I, lo I love Black Sun so much. It was so good. Yes. Yes, how, yes, how, yes. How it long did so it take you to get into Black Sun? I'm just curious. Uh, the first chapter, it's like, <laughs> like it's one of the most intense, brutal 
scenes to start oh. a book and it just like it's it's really yeah, good it's funny because like we all know i you don't need to talk about i love Crescent city but like yeah that book took um, like a hundred pages. pages for me it, it was like, like 60 pages for it to yeah. get in like six, it took like a hundred pages to but, like the first like it was at the end of the first part of that book that i got it yeah it's what like 90 okay. pages but yeah it, yeah that like that yeah even that no black sun immediately <laughs> like i have zero complaints about it which never happens so it's like my store then. <laughs> it's, it's so good um yeah i love it yeah i have it at home i haven't read the tj clean one I've yeah so you know what i mean like people's writing style might not work like i loved it i love the writing style but i think it just depends on what you're used to or what you like um so yeah yes burning god is probably going to break all of our hearts yes yeah i mean we know that's that's exactly what's sad. Gonna I feel so sad because like we had an arc of that just sitting around and like no one touched it. What? Like, no oh my gosh! Like, Seriously? Do oh, man. Okay. All right. So one more category. <laughs> we are not going to get that many. Uh, I mean, sprints could you sprints? That's okay. That's okay. Okay. What do we got? Um. So upset. The one I did. Presentation was in, definitely written. Okay. Did the one I wrote? Yay! My write-in made it. Spoiler alert. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did not. I'm sorry. I'm sure you can also what... guess what it was. Uh oh, was it the roommate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I ended up, so I so I voted for I I think I just voted for uh something to talk about, which I also really loved, but also we did an event with Rosie Dannon and it was in conversation yeah. with Meryl Wilsoner as well. And I uh, have heard uh, very mixed things about that book. So yeah. So they just talk. So yeah, it's yeah. very, it's a, it's like the slowest of slow burn romances. Um, but I, I liked it because of what else it was doing. Cause like for someone who wants to work in Hollywood as well, like I liked that mm -hmm. part of it. And then also hearing them talk about it um, and the reasoning behind why the romance like not just why it was that way but the reason that it had to be that way mm -hmm. um was I thought was so great like she like mm -hmm. they talked about um how you know there's kind of like this relationship between a bot like between someone who's a boss and an assistant and how mm -hmm. because of the power imbalances and that you that they had to take slower like they had to take it slower so that there was consenting yeah. and so like all of that I was like I was like that really started like the care and um, the amount of care that went into yeah. the deliberate decision I thought was great because like that's I think that's the main complaint about it is but yeah it's I, I've like, heard so I so a lot of the complaints I've heard about it are the power imbalance and feeling like it just never should have been between them in the first place and that yeah. it wasn't handled super well so I don't know. Like that's a lot of the yeah. criticisms I've heard. But yeah, I I yeah. I, I wrote the indie next review for it, so I enjoyed okay. it. But okay. I mean, I enjoyed it. It wasn't. I I enjoyed yeah. it, and I liked the setting. I mean, I, I honestly like if it were not in the setting that it was, I don't think I would have loved it as liked it as much. Right. Um, but you know, being me too. So I think that's fair enough. Did I? Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I, I read Beach Read, but okay, yeah. Oh, I am also super happy. Spoiler alert got on, obviously. Yeah, a lot of people like Beach Read. I've not read that I one. I didn't love Beach Read. I thought, like, I thought it was going to be, like, every, the way everyone was talking about it. Like, it was, like, last year, how it was red, white, and royal blue. Um, oh, yeah. How, like, everyone was, like, this is the, the book. And when I read it, I, like, fell in love with it. It was, like, one of my, now it's one of my favorite books of mm -hmm. all time. And then the same people who were, uh, who were, like, honestly, like, the Alex Caramont Diaz fan club, I like to call them, were like pushing beach read and like, it, like, mm -hmm. it was amazing I was like I was like oh okay I'm gonna love this book and then I read it, I was like mm -hmm. mm. but I was the unpopular opinion there yeah most people I hear really love it yeah but that seems yeah, to be that's, as well I haven't read that one which is interesting and then um watch. yeah no see people seem to be loving it I have heard it leans more women's fiction there is a lot of debate over this like some people think no it really is a romance and other people think it leans more women's fiction which is interesting Danny Brown is fantastic like i think that is a very solid pick i loved my boss I loved has that. recently really gone into them <laughs> talia <laughs> hibbert is so good she's so good everything is good um beach read okay yeah so a lot of people like don't think the switch is i've heard a lot of people say the switch is not at all a romance yeah yeah look i i, I hear you um it's also interesting <clears> that um what's it that from blood and ash is 
I think in the romance section because like obviously it's totally uh-huh. fantasy romance but a lot of people group like I am try- gonna try to read it this month but it is yeah. it's definitely a high no, I wouldn't say high it's definitely a fantasy uh-huh. but a lot of people are like grouping it with for fans of Sarah J Mass and whatnot and like Sarah J Mass is an acknowledgement right. so I'm, like, I'm wondering like if you're gonna put Crescent City in I mean well I would- probably because there was too much competition like it wouldn't have made it yeah, that's and true. she's known for she's known as a romance author and Sarah yeah. J Mass is known as a fantasy author I think that's part of it but I liked you had me on Ola um but Danny Brown is really good yeah they should just make a women's fiction category you're right oh is it that's unfortunate the UK cover is ugly I haven't seen it I haven't seen I'll that either. Up at some point um, red white and royal blue or beach read are so different yeah that yeah. I mean that makes that makes sense oh, they're you know I different. so Christine I have thought of doing this um, and then it seems oh, like, like a lot that. of work. I know I've <laughs> with thought all about doing it <laughs> with like fantasy. And then I was like, but do I really have enough energy to do that right now? I don't I know. Maybe one day. The, yeah. I think part Maybe of the problem day. also is that a lot of the time you run into books <clears throat> that are sequels. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, for example, we you know the, the Robert Galbraith one is obviously like, what is that the fourth or fifth book or something like that yeah uh the poppy war book that's the third book like there are a Mm -hmm. lot of sequels in here and if you commit to that then you might then be committing to either reading a book and not knowing what's going on or like reading yeah preceding books as well yeah but people who do it and it's great to watch yeah no it's interesting i may at some point but um yeah krista I think Danny Brown is better than Chloe. A lot of people who didn't care for it really liked the second one. Um, so I would give it a shot. I loved it. It was it was really fun and I think a lot more fun than Chloe. So a lot of I, I think it's I think it's worth a try. I I think it's better. Um, of course one to watch is <laughs> I know. I mean, y'all know I was not a fan. Yeah, I um yes, I agree. I think Danny Brown was a lot was definitely better. Um the male character slightly problematic. I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember. I didn't I care about that. him enough to like yeah. decide. <laughs> well, there you go. But it's, it's funny. I'm like, take it with take what I'm saying about Beach Read with a grain of salt because <laughs> I'm I'm in the very clear minority. I hated <laughs> one to watch too. I I mean, I have like a 17 minute rant review video. Also, like I still get comments on my Goodreads review of it. Um, have you had to turn off your notifications about it. yet on that review? Oh, I do not have my Goodreads notifications turned on oh. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I don't like not yeah. Heard, I yeah. feel I'm kind of indifferent to to one to watch. Like I enjoyed it when I read it. This point, like I want to lower my rating, you know, I bet I'm gonna write a note to myself to go lower my rating because also yeah. But it's also that uh, it also comes from my I feel like that comes from my privilege as well that I can be indifferent to it because it's not representative of right. my body type. But that's also I feel like that's not okay for me to also yeah. over like obviously I don't know what that experience is, but so many people I mean, there are people who are plus size who are who love it, but there are also yeah. lots of people who don't. And I think that the people who are I think if one person who's belongs to a certain group is saying that it's problematic, then there is automatically sort of meat to that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know about one so person people. so much, but like there's oh, a yeah, lot that's of a little people. Bit of but like, <laughs> like I mean, but there's I like, like yeah. not 10 people, even if it's out of like 10 like, Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot of people, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Okay, what do we think is going to win this category? Wow. Um, so I kind of hope Take a Hint Danny Brown wins. Um, like I think it's got a shot at it because it's mm, been kind of big. Yeah, and I think fact, Reed has a shot. Yeah, and one to watch, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. In a holidays, like a Christina Warren book could probably win. Like mm-hmm. I think they win a lot. Those would probably I be my guess. In five years this year, I feel like that's also way more literary. Yes. Than yeah, I've heard it's not. Yeah. So I am actually because I think. Danny Brown is more likely to win now that spoiler alert has at least gotten to the semifinals since we know it's never going to make it to the finals. I'm going to vote for Danny Brown because I think that was really great. I mean, spoiler alert is my favorite romance of the year, but I'm going to give my vote to like the person who I think could maybe win that I would like. Like, to like, win. it's like politics. It's like politics. It's like politics. Exactly. Um, so we think Beatrice, 
preferred Chloe more than Danny. Interesting. Yeah, I think that's a less popular opinion, but that's great. I mean, if, if that's worked more for you. Oh, yeah, wait, Colleen Hoover does. Okay, she does What's get that? a lot of votes. I forgot about that. I've never read anything by her. I, feel like I really cool. liked Verity. November 9th is trash, though. Interesting. Um, Verity, yeah. I, I loved Verity, though. That that one is yeah, very hit or miss. Years. It's, it's messed up. <laughs> Yeah, I have not read her stuff because I feel like it would piss me off based on yeah. things I've heard. Oh, so I just have not. Pisses me off to no end. Yeah, in five years, I've not read. Okay, how many of these have you read? Let's see. I've read um, <laughs> like Rogue of One's no. Own, Spoiler Alert, Party of Two, Taking in Danny Brown, One to Watch, You Had Me at Ola. Oh, I've read three. Yeah. And The Happy Ever Playlist. So seven. I really liked the Happy Ever playlist. It's just not like a best of year for me. So, yeah, it's now it's like two and three <laughs> in, of the ones that I've read. Once we get to YA and children, then it'll be like ten. But <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Danny, Danny is great, guys. Um, but they're they're both good. Oh, somebody said I'm, Trader. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm impressed with the diversity of this list. Um, yeah, not no, just in the authors, much, it's but it's a lot better stories. than last year, I think. Yeah, like not just with the authors, but with the stories that are being yeah. told. <clears throat> yes. Um, you deserve each other. Okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't heard much about that one. I think it's interesting. Mariana Zapata got written in. I haven't actually heard great things about this one, I think. I don't know. I want to uh, read so one. Which one are you pointing to? Yeah. The Mariana Z Zapata. Oh, okay. oh, there's an Alana Andrews. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. Okay. So. I promised you guys productivity sprints. <laughs> this has been much more <laughs> time consuming. But you know what? It's going to go faster for some of the later categories. We're not going to yeah. have as much to say about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, no, I, I bet none of us have read anything in science and technology. I yeah. I mean, I haven't, certainly. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, I'm going to take this off for now. Okay. We are going we're going to. Do during our productivity sprints. <laughs> Sure. Um, so I need to write a book review of Plain Bad Heroines, which, by the way, I loved. It was great. But I need to write a review of it if I can. That one looks, that one looks awesome. Um, oh, it's so good. It's like. I have yeah. the audio book, but I think okay. it's the kind of book I want to at least. I was so glad. Like yeah, I listened to the audio book and flipped along to you because it's got really cool illustrations yeah. through it. And it was it was fun. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I. Um, how about you? I mean, I, I mean, I could do homework, but mm -hmm. I don't really have any. I I need to finish. So I want to finish this. I'm like, I have like 100 pages left of it because. Okay. But then I also, also started this. <laughs> then I'm like, I that I was like, oh, again, I read this book. I think I read Kate of Gold. I think in 2019, and again, anything pre-COVID feels like a different world. So I'm like, I think I might have to reread Chain of Gold before I can read that. Fair um, enough. I mean, there's a lot that happened in it too. It was like a, a lot yeah. going on. And I tried myself. to look at it like a recap thing and it was like paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs. So I was like, a uh, lot of stuff happened in that book. So that's like fair. That. Um, yeah. So I feel bad though, because I do want to pass this one around. Um, and I'm like, I'm fair enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, Working on being mortal for the sprints, a blanket while we're voting and chatting. Love it. Double productivity. Hey, multitask. I am all for that. Nonfiction section has a couple of terrible choices. Okay, well, we will get there. <laughs> I know. Yeah. There's always the, the terrible book, choices in like yeah. every category. Yeah, always, always. Uh, like, I thought the romance category it. was was better than last year for sure. I liked it better than last year. Well, I mean, for me last year, I know there was definitely a clear winner for me, obviously, Red, mm -hmm. White, and Royal Blue. But, um... Yeah. Reading Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. Brandon oh, there's a board game so place based on it. That's interesting. Oh, you haven't Ooh. read anything by yeah, him. Yeah, I've, really? I've been meaning to read Miss Bart. I've been meaning to read Way of Kings. I bought, what was it, Skyward, and maybe read 30 pages of it before I, like, put it down for or a reason other than, like, I was enjoying it. I just put it down. Um, but, yeah, I've been meaning to read him for so long. Cool. Okay, so guys, we're going to do, do 10 uh, minutes or? 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write a review in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, you're writing a review. I was like, <laughs> I'm writing a review. Yeah. I usually do 30 minutes, but since this is taking so long, I'm going to do 20. So, or sometimes I do 20. Okay, so we're going to sprint until uh, 930 Eastern. Okay. So we're going to say work 
I'll put it in a comment. And so 9.30 p.m. EFC. Uh, can I write? Hold on. Okay. I will, I will okay, and I'm going to mute myself. So we will be back for more voting in about 20 minutes.
Okay, I think that's time. Hey guys, so how did everybody do? So it's perfect. I just finished my book review and updated my reading spreadsheet. So that was exactly the right amount of time. You can now read my review of Plain Bad Heroines on Goodreads. <laughs> Um, see what people are doing. Reading Mistborn. Okay, cool. That was a buddy read. Reading Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Oh, cool. I've heard good things about that. Yeah, I need to learn how to use the banners from StreamYard. I know that's that is accurate. Words of Radiance and Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. Nice. I think Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem, but I feel like that might be on my TBR or something that's like on my radar. Lost Plot by Genevieve Cogman. Awesome. Hello, Rachel. See? Read seven. Nice. 27 pages. Wow. Great, Beth. How about you? I, how many did I read? Mm -hmm. I, well, I, I ended up responding to some school emails, um, but I think like <laughs> eight pages then. Um, okay. Which, yeah. I couldn't nice. just respond because I hate having unread emails. It's just like an OCG thing, I think. Fair enough. <laughs> Just yeah. ooh, six of crows. Six of crows, nice. That's good. So we got five percent of mischief and mayhem just came out today. Awesome. I love it. Good, good reading. We like that. That's awesome. Yeah, I would love to be reading, but I just I have so many like little things I need to do. So I was like, I'll do this to make it happen. Okay, let me um, let me see. Okay, I think science. Yeah, I gotta get my screen, share screen together. Share, okay. It's gonna be like <laughs> one book, cause I. <laughs> All right, so we'll do five more categories, guys. Um, okay, so science fiction. Okay, oh, okay. The Hank Green book was definitely a write-in and The Relentless Moon was a write-in. I've not read either of them, but I'm interested in both of them. I did, I liked worlds, it. Though, right? I didn't love it. Um, it's definitely a debut, but it's got a lot of really interesting ideas. I read Network Effect, which I liked a lot. Hair of the Ninth, I liked. Um, I think it's really smart. It's not like the most fun thing to read necessarily. So I think my write-in didn't make it, which I'm not shocked. I wish more people would pick it up. <laughs> I keep, I keep, what, book, like, what book was it again? Um, Unconquerable Sun by Kate Elliott. Nobody's reading it. It's really good though. It's like a gender flipped Alexander the Great in space, and it's yeah. so good. Like, oh, sorry, <laughs> notifications. Um, yeah, I, know, I feel that way about the really Rocky good Allen book, where it's like it's mm -hmm. so. I feel like it's just like it's so good, but like, yeah. Oh, uh, somebody right. saying uh, their best friend's oh. daughter is a senior at Cornell. I'm not a junior. <laughs> it's a very big school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, Network Effect was great. Anything Murderbot is always really good. I still can't believe you know who reads, mur read murder reads Murderbot. What? Oh, sorry. Stephanie. <laughs> okay. Okay. Meyer. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Every I time we hear Murderbot, because, like, Um, yeah, Space Between Worlds I got from Book of the Month as well, and I did like it. It's got really interesting ideas. Um, yeah, Space Sci-Fi is not so much a category. Fair enough. I, so, yeah, I hope more people will read Unconquerable Sun. I thought it was very good. Did yeah, Space Between Worlds was, was good. Um, her name is Ashley, and she's a chemical engineer major. Um, I'm in arts and sciences, so... <laughs> She's like, uh. <laughs> you never know. It's always worth a shot, you know. All right. Um, I do you know? I have, do have a friend named Ashley who's in engineering, but she's a sophomore. <laughs> yeah, I I'm actually interested in the first sister. I've heard good things about it. The mother co was not good. It was on the original list, but I'm so I'm gonna vote for Raya Baby. That's what I, yeah. Um, that's what I'm going with. I thought it was fantastic and Touchy a lot of fun. She's great. He's mm -hmm. so smart too. He is, yes, for sure. 
what are other people okay do we want to like guess what we think is going to win this um i wouldn't be surprised murder if if voted for it. christopher Pelney won i wouldn't be surprised yeah i mean that yeah you're right i it was okay like i didn't dislike it i remember just, you were really liking it at the beginning and then it kind of just like yeah, like the first twenty percent of it was fantastic, and then I don't know. Um, Axiom's end. I wonder because Lindsay Ellis is big on YouTube. Like, I wonder if that will get a lot of votes or if it's not enough. I don't know. I mean, Murderbot has been doing well too. I yeah. would be thrilled if Network Effect won. Like, that would be cool. Yeah, um, nothing really jumps yeah. out at me, but like, I'm also not a huge sci-fi reader, so yeah, I'm not person to ask. Yeah, um, I don't know. Wait a minute, um, is the end of October that pandemic one? Maybe. Um, Possible. Read the majority up for Goodreads. I haven't read the majority. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think that was me last year. Hey, we're going. Hank Green. So Hank Green was a write-in, and write-ins usually don't win. But, you know, maybe. Murderbot, of course, got your vote. Yeah, I would be happy if Murderbot could win. But, yeah, Paulini might win. Okay. No, we have not done thrillers. Did we do thrill? We did. Yeah. Oh, we did do. Yeah. Sorry. We did do. We did do thrillers. This will be up though. So if you, we did the first, we're doing like five at a time. So sorry. Eat, say Hank Green if I hadn't been a write in. Yeah. Yeah. People really Pretty liked, uh, the, what was it called? An absolutely remarkable thing. I think people. I really liked it. I do want to read the second one. It. I think it's just a duology. It's very good. But yeah, I didn't get it. Have I read it. any I horror? Read I have. I've actually read several. You've read a lot this year. I've read a lot of the horror this year. Um, it's surprising. It's unusual. But I think because there's been a lot of my kind of horror that's been published <laughs> as friendless. Yeah. So there's a lot of smart I don't, horror that's been published this year. Yeah, like. which is what I like. I like I like smart horror, and I don't know. Not to say other horror is dumb. That's not what I mean. But just there's certain certain types of horror. Okay, so let's look at horror. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. See, like I really want to read Lakewood. I've been hearing about it, and it looks super interesting. Yeah. I yeah, I'm seeing some of these that were write-ins. Houndlings of Hell was a write-in. Um, Secret Santa. Oh, that's creepy. That was definitely right in. Ring Shot. Was that on it originally? Ring Shot is fantastic. I think that was a, a right in. That's what I'm going to vote for. It's also the only it's, one I've It's very good. Sure. Okay. But. So Lakewood and Hollow Places are kind of on my I would like to read them list. I've read the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I don't know why it's showing up as want to read because definitely I've read it. And gave that, it back. Feel, it's probably the addition. The it does that with like weird additions. Year of the, the Witching, I loved Mexican. Okay, so what's funny about this is three of these are on my favorites of the year shelf. So Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, Year of the Witching and Mexican Gothic are all on my favorites of 2020 <laughs> shelf. Ring Shout was also very, very good. And I just wrote my review for Plain Bad Heroines. And it's one of those ones where I gave it five stars and I'm going to sit on it and I could see it being a favorite. Like it's one of those ones where I'm like, like this could be a six star read as well. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is funny. Yeah. Or <laughs> good transition. That was indeed a good transition. Um, yeah. Winners are decided by the total number of votes. Yes. I, I, Okay, interesting. I'm interested in Mallory. I liked Bird Box quite a lot as well. Yay! Oh, yeah. Mexican Gothic was fantastic. I loved Year of the Witching. Um, yeah, so Lakewood... Lakewood is about um, a Black woman, I think, who agrees to be part of this experiment to make money, but it's like dealing with the fact that like people of color have been experimented on. And I've, I've just heard it's really, really good that's and smart so and creepy. I know, no, I know, that's no, I know. Yes, yes. Living out of me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fair. I mean, this is something she's agreed to, but then it ends up getting really weird. And I was like, get I out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that kind of horror, so I don't know. Grady Hendrix is a good pick. Love Lakewood, okay, and Plain Bad Heroines and Mexican Gothic. Love Christina Hendry's books. So yeah, Plain Bad Heroines was great. I'm excited to read Lakewood. I, I need to buy it. It's not like near the top of my wish list. So I'm, I probably will end up picking up a copy for myself. I keep eyeing it. I'm like, maybe I should just buy it, but I've spent too much money on books already. <laughs> so I do want to read that one. Um, 
what am I going to vote for in this category? Oh, this is, see, this is what's really hard about it. The only good Indians I've also read, and it was very good, not my favorite, but I gave it, I think, four or four and a half stars. I thought it was also really good. Which one would you, okay, which one would you recommend the most? Um, uh, to horror readers or non-horror readers? Um, I don't know to who that's that's the problem like probably like I've probably recommended year of the witching the most because it's the least fully horror like it's a good it's a good one if you read if you like witchy books and you want something that's horror but without anything super intense I don't know um I look I agree I think when no one is watching is much more a horror than a thriller but it's been marketed as a thriller which is why it's in that category um but yeah, I, I agree with you. Marketing is something else, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah, Meg. So I think the cutoff was November 17th, which is true every year. So like anything that's published by November 17th, which means people could read it before the end of the Goodreads Choice Awards. But yeah, I mean, fair enough. I've seen her that critique quite a bit. Stephen King for horror and Rick Riordan for middle grade. I mean, you're not wrong. That is probably true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, I guess because cause also even if people haven't read it, they know Stephen King's name. So yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. I mean, Stephen King will probably, I haven't even heard anything about this one, but he always has a book yeah. on here. Um, I, I guess one book by Stephen King I ever, I ever, only one book by Stephen King I will ever plan to read and that is on writing. So. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I'm interested in some of his newer stuff actually, but yeah, some of his older stuff I probably won't read. But you know what? I might actually vote for Mexican Gothic because it's been enough of a big bestseller. I think it has a shot, maybe. Definitely, I could see it making it to the final round. Also, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires has done very well. Like, it keeps selling out more than they expected it to, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, Mexican Gothic is actually gets pretty intense near the end, but it's a very slow build. And Year of the Witching is also not that scary, I would say, but it's it's very smart, very good. Like probably what's more scary about Year of the Witching, like the horror elements are there, but like what's scarier is the like misogyny and abuse of power, <laughs> like which I think is intentional. It's part of why I think it's, I thought it was really good. Mexican Gothic, King will probably win or maybe Tremblay. Yeah, I mean, the Winter People, oh, I liked the Winter People. That was definitely spooky. If you liked the Winter People and you can deal with some like more bloody things, you might try the Year of the Witching. Just saying. Um, interesting. Yeah. So from what I hear, Stephen King writes a wide variety of things. I have the Institute on my TBR, which I'm interested in. Um, but Southern Book Club 2, it's not too spooky. It does get bloody and violent you should check trigger warnings for it if you need them because there's kind of a lot <laughs> that are sort of spoilery but if you need that maybe check it so um a lot didn't like if it bleeds interesting interesting i okay so i'm i think i'm gonna vote uh if i can find the right tab okay i think i'm gonna vote for mexican gothic because again, I think it's got a shot at winning or at least making finals. So that's how I'm going to decide. <laughs> did you, you voted for your, did you vote for year of the witch in last time or? Um, yes. All right. I probably did. I don't, remember. I don't really remember either, but I probably voted for year of the witching. I love Year of the witching, but I just don't think it's got a shot at winning. So yeah. Yeah. Ring shot for me, but it's also the only one I've read. And like, I know it's controversial. Okay, so for, Meg. For, for never read. You've only read one in the category. Yeah. So Meg, there is sexual assault in Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Year of the Witching has uh, discussions of sexual assault and abuse, but it's not on the page. So if you don't mind it being talked about, but not like graphically on the page, that might go okay. But but there there's a lot of that in Southern Book Club's Guide. So I would actually maybe steer clear of that if that's a problem for you. Wish there was more vampires in the Grady Head. Fair enough. <laughs> Voted for Mexican Gothic as well. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. 
humor. Last time I had not read any of the books, so let's see if that has changed. Um, oh, good. There's one idea left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really read humor because like nothing really makes me. I'm very. It's very hard to make me laugh. Yeah, I mean. Oh wait. Okay, I read one of them. I like. Okay, that's. Oh really? What have you read? The, the Nicole <clears throat> Byer one. Um, okay. She's she's the host of Nailed It. Um, mm -hmm. which my little brother oh, turns me on to. So like so actually funny. come in my room and yeah. crawl up with me and like watch it with me and it's super fun. And then I, I interned for the management mm -hmm. company that represents her and she's she's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she, that's interesting. She is she is really funny on there. I have not read any of these. I DNF shit actually, mostly because it I didn't find it to be funny. I think I have a different sense of humor than she does. And the whole point of that book is to be funny, so I want to try one of her more serious, yeah. Like, I think it's called, but that's one of the, yeah. So, I want to do that. Um, oh, and what I can't, what solutions and something problems that book it sells like sold like crazy <clears throat> at the store. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting, I don't even know what it's about, but it sells like yeah, crazy and still interesting, yeah. I don't know. Didn't vote in the humor one. Yeah, I haven't read any, finished any of these. Yeah, I'm glad that's helpful. Yeah, I would say, I would stay away from Southern in that case. Wow, no thank you was really fun on Audible. Okay, good to know. Cool. Solutions and other problems was fantastic. Yeah, let us know your thoughts because I'm not going to be voting in this category because I've not read any of these. Um, voted for the office one. I mean, the office is great, so why not? <laughs> I feel like you're going to vote for something. Let's I see. think it's the office or is it? The uh, Untold not... Story of the Greatest Sitcom of the 2000s by Andy Green. I mean, that that looks funny. I like the cover. Yeah. I, think oh. office, I don't remember if it's The Office or Parks and Rec. Like, I'm not a big fan of comedies or sitcoms in general, so I kind of stay away. Mm -hmm. I'm probably the only one on planet Earth that hasn't watched <laughs> The Office or Parks and Rec. But I started oh, to get really? super annoyed really? when I got into, like, Cornell, like, in high school. And, like, I'd be wearing my, like, flaunt to get around and wearing my big, fat, like, red sweatshirt around everywhere and people would be like oh have you what it was either the office or parks and rec because one of the characters apparently it's the like, office okay yeah it's the, the office. office went to cornell i'm like it's yeah. crazy about it and it just drove yeah. me off the walls <clears throat> so funny oh goodness um okay solutions and other problems different from her first because she's gotten divorced and lost parents and has a better understanding of her mental health interesting cool good to know Funny and much of it was all over the place, but expected that. Okay, great. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay, cool. So I will not be voting in this category, but good to know there's some some good ones in there. Any theories on what's gonna win? I could not I, tell you. <laughs> same. I mean, yeah, I don't even I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, lots of people like Nicole. Uh, that book wasn't, no, no, because that book wasn't on there. Otherwise, I would have voted for it last time. But I don't know if Solutions and Problems is there, but like it sells a lot. <clears throat> it, like it's, we sell so many copies of it. Solutions again, and it's, Other Problems yeah, is on but there, again, yeah. So, but again, Ithaca is also a very quirky town. Um, right. In the sense that like no one will buy like Crescent City. Well, I mean, I think I managed to pitch and get one person to buy it, but like nobody will buy Crescent City. <laughs> But it makes the New York Times bestseller list. Meanwhile, yeah. people are like coming into the store asking us to like order books that have been out of print for forever. We can't get so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, there's like a Jerry Seinfeld book. I have no idea. I'm not even going to try to guess. Yeah. So, oh, Colin Joss. From... <laughs> Colin Joss probably wins. Yeah, okay. well, he did just get married to Scarlett yeah. Johansson, so it's got that going for him. That's that's a good point. Good <laughs> point. The, or the office one yeah because like the office is super popular yeah. the book with the alien on it <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> awesome okay <laughs> cool let's go to nonfiction. this is like general nonfiction, and then we'll have more specific categories um okay so i've read stamped it was fantastic it was a great yep. adaptation of the Agreed. original I've heard really good things about Beyond the Gender Binary, actually, I think. Um, yeah, same with me and White Supremacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... Hood Feminism. Oh, Hood Feminism. Yay. I loved... Okay, that's... I think that's what I voted for last time. And, and the Bob Woodward one, I'm guessing it's going to be really popular. Yeah, that might win. 
that I mean that seems likely to win. <laughs> I hope Stamp right. wins. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. Stamped would be maybe I should I vote for I mean Stamped was fantastic. If it's where if it's where my vote counts the most, maybe I should vote for Stamped. I just loved Hood Feminism, but it's probably not gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna vote for Stamped. You've convinced me. Okay, <laughs> what is what are the other people other people's thoughts? Let's see. Um, yeah, Stamped is fantastic. It does yeah, a really yeah, it's it's a really great introduction too. I think that's more accessible than Stamped from the beginning. It's yeah. it adapts it for young people, but I mean anyone could read it. Yeah, and it's, it's good quick. for adults too. Yeah, it's very very good. Currently reading Clanlands. If you're in Outlander in Scotland, it's so good. Awesome. Voted Hood Feminism. It's Hood Feminism is fantastic. I actually, you know. Because I keep talking about it this way, I'm like, maybe I should bump it onto my favorites shelf because, like, mm -hmm. I recommend it so much. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think about this because, like, end of year is coming, so all those end of year lists are going to be coming. Um, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, the Bob Woodward book could very likely win other people's thoughts. Just added clan lens to your TBR. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very picky about what nonfiction I like to read. And Same. so I don't, I like, am I interested in some of these other ones? I don't uh, know. With the hand was a read with Jenna pick, and she generally actually picks really good, I think, in my opinion. She picks Here for choices. It or How to Save Your Soul in America. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. And that, I've like, seen book with some the people. Circle. Yeah, that was a book of the month pick, and yeah. I've heard mixed reviews of it. But yeah, let's see. Not voting in this category. I haven't read any of them. Yeah, fair enough. Want to read the answer is in the book about Jenna Bush's grandpa? Okay, yeah, no, that would be interesting. Hidden Valley might get the Oprah bump. Oh, that's right. Was that an Oprah pick? Yeah, that I okay. I saw that available to listen to for like a I have to look up thing. clan clan lands. So. Okay, cool. The last book on the list will win or stamped. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I think I'm I'm gonna guess the Bob Woodward book or maybe stamped. Possibly. I'm kind of surprised. Oh no, I guess that would have been mine. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Oh, it's actually um, written by Sam Hewen. No, you didn't mention that. That's all you had to say to get me on board. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's even on the cover. Oh, yeah. Okay. Memoir and autobiography. I feel like I rarely have read any of these. Oh, Alex Trebek. You know, that's probably going to win now because he just passed. Yeah. Well, Which is I haven't so read it sad. yet. It doesn't come out until well a week from today. But I'm the I'm yeah for the Obama. And I feel book. like everybody, but I, yeah, but I feel like everyone's going to be voting for that, or I guess maybe the Obama one because I'm sure that was going to be fantastic. And I just I love Obama, and I don't yeah. But I'm like I I don't know when it's when when it's starting, but because like I grew up in Chicago, like I I mean I used to like because he before he was a senator like before he was Obama like he was just he was a community activist and like I I literally used to go to birthday parties with his kids so he just he's like so wild but like just I miss him so much yeah, yeah. oh and Untamed sells so much I Alex Trebek for the win yeah <laughs> that book has been in the Matthew McConaughey like. That one's probably gonna be popular, but oh um, gosh, Matthew McConaughey is such a character. Oh gosh, <laughs> like, I know. So now apparently he's a professor. Apparently now, but what? Oh yeah, okay. he teaches some like film class at UT Austin. Oh, okay, um, but Untamed by okay. Glennon Doyle is so popular. Like it's been on the bestseller list for so yeah. long, and we I've been seeing that a lot. It's, yeah, Jessica Simpson. Um, mm -hmm. The Marielle uh, Trump book, of Memorial course. Memorial Drive. I don't think it's going to win, but it's phenomenal. Um, yeah. The only one of these I've read is All Boys Aren't Blue, and it was fantastic. Yeah. And then, um, of course, the Mary Trump one is probably going to be popular. Same with the Chaston Buttigieg one. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, Mayor Pete. Well, he's right, not Mayor yeah. Pete, but, you know. 
Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I want to read the Obama one for sure, but I'm going to vote because it's the only one I've read yeah. and I thought it was really good for All Boys Aren't Blue. It's it, this also is a YA memoir, but there's not like a YA nonfiction section, which yeah. is also why Stamped, I guess, was in the, the other one. But yeah. um, that one is really good. So let us know, guys, if you have thoughts on what do you think? Yeah, I'm curious. Is anyone I'm else thinking, planning on reading the Obama book? Or a Promised I want to read it. Yeah, it's such I'm a good betting, title, too. A Promised yeah. Land. Yeah. I'm betting either the Obama book or the Alex Trebek book are going to win, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Yeah, we so have literally, we have a hundred, I think last I checked, we have 109 copies of A Promised Land on order. And that book is like 700 yeah. pages plus pages. <laughs> so the amount of boxes that are coming in next mm -hmm. Monday are, I feel bad for our receiver. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. This is, I think I heard that too, actually, Krista, the, the Jessica Simpson one was surprisingly good. Herself? I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, open book. Yeah, I have heard though that it's you know pretty heard good. Really usually good usually about. memoirs they'll write yeah. with somebody, but is the um, Mariah Carey one on there? Yes, I yeah, think so. so. Yeah. So we've got like yeah. Matt McConaughey, mm -hmm. Jessica Simpson. Um, it's always a lot of celebrity yeah. ones that do well, which is not, you know, not shocking. Yeah. And I've so. heard really good things about Uncanny Valley. Again, don't think it'll win, but. Um, oh, man, I didn't even realize the Alex Trebek book's not even out yet. Like, how sad that, like, he died right before his memoir oh, came no. out. When is it? Does it come out next? Does it, wait, does it does it come out next, next week? Um, or? I think that must be. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I can look. Hold on. Oh no, it's out. It came out in August. Okay. Some, I think somebody said that and for some reason I thought, okay, so it comes out in August. Um, plan to read both Obama books eventually. Okay. Obama, Alex are back in the Trump book. Yeah. Okay, that's I mean, great I though that you misspelled it because it almost looks like dumb. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I had to say that. Yeah. Mary Trump uh, is also, she's a character. She's a different type yeah. of character, but she's also a character. Thank you, Damien. It came out in July. Great. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, well, I, we'll be digging into that book a week from today. Okay, so let's do one more. Is that the food <laughs> and another oh, okay. sprint. Um, history and biography is next. Okay. So, which I probably have not read. Yeah. Oh, I've read one of these, so maybe I'll vote for that. Oh, well, I haven't. Okay, Cast. I'll just see what else get added. Cast, I want to read. I feel like that will win. I think you might be right. Yeah, if you, I, I've been hearing so many good things oh, the about John it. Lewis one, though. It just make me cry. Every time I know. John Lewis, I just get so sad. I know. Well, in the new Eric Larson books. So I have read Wandering in Strange Lands, and it was very good. <laughs> so that's the only one of these that I've read. So, like, I don't want to, like, go, like, really close because, like, <laughs> it would be mm -hmm. awkward. But what's... I, if I see if I saw the cover, I might remember what's Strange Lands about. Which one um, is it? Wandering the Strange <laughs> Lands. Yeah, it's a daughter of the Great Migration reclaims her roots. So it's part memoir, part kind of tracing family history, and um, it's really interesting. Like following different groups of Black people in history, in different places, and like getting into a lot of like an un untold history. It's 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 very fascinating. Yeah, thinking cast yeah, will most I likely agree. win. And a lot of praise for their Eric Larson. Okay. I mean, both of those seem like contenders. I think both of those were also Book of the Month picks as well. Yeah. But. Yeah. Black Women's History of the United States. Um, yeah. I've heard good things about that one. Yeah. It's probably, I also. think it's probably like a riff on the Howard Zinn. Yeah. Book. So I'm going to vote for Wandering in Strange Lands because that's the one that I've read and I did like it. But, um, yeah, I should put this on my want to read list because yeah. I do want to read cast. Yeah, cast for me. So maybe, you know, yeah, I'm kind of, <laughs> it's one of these things I'm kind of waiting to see because I'm part of book of the month and, and you get to pick one of their like top picks at the end of the year. So like maybe I'll get that if it's one of their like. Yeah, because I remember um, last year, my, I think my favorite pick one for book of the month, but um, I don't know what I would vote for. Medium's War was good and the cover is beautiful. Okay. Um, homosexual versus the United States of America. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that is a good cover. 
Interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, a lot of these are, are pretty interesting actually. So I'm so uncomfortable right now. Yeah. <laughs> the way I'm sitting. Oh, half cast, but haven't read it yet. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that is wait, I'm just that curious, category. Wait, which ones are next? Food and um, <laughs> And let's see. Oh, yeah, science technology. Okay. Okay, how long are we going to go for? Or? <laughs> so we'll go for another 20 minutes. I'm like okay. hearing a lot of doors opening and shutting. I'm like, I don't know if one of my kids got out of bed or what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they shut off my camera. So I'm like, I'm like <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll go for 20 minutes. Um, so so 10 20. Till, yeah, 10 20. Um, all right, everybody. So work or read or whatever you're going to do, and we will check back in in 20 minutes. Ah, what am I doing for the 20 minutes? Good question. I am going to work on prepping a video that's coming out later this week. I need to make like thumbnails and video descriptions and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Krista. Have a good night. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself and I will check it back in with you guys at 1020. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> 21. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like getting lost in making a thumbnail. Hey guys, how did it go? <laughs> Um, oh, hey, yay. I, I get it. Yeah, I had stuff to do too, which is why I was like, let's do, let's do some stuff. So I, what did I do? I worked, I'm working on getting a video ready to go up and I'm almost done with the thumbnail and I've got like the description ready and stuff. I have a video going up, um, I think Friday that I'm really excited for. I hope people like it. So, oh, is it the Sarah Fairing? Yeah, I'm excited to see that one. Yeah, it was fun. I like, I had a lot of fun editing it, and like, I'm just glad I finally felt was feeling more, more creative because it's, it's like more required more creativity, I guess, mm -hmm. in the editing process. But I like how it turned out. So hopefully, other people like it too. Um. So yeah, what did everybody else do? I just bread oh I mean like I went to the bathroom <laughs> like did some just like <laughs> mundane things that I sometimes forget to do um like self-care things that aren't even really self-care things um but I read a lot of this book uh it comes out in March it's called the girls are also nice here um mm -hmm. the first half of the book I thought was really slow but then like there was this, like big twist and then like now it's like taking really taking off and I have like 100 pages left but it's funny yeah. because I look um it's by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. She also writes under L.E. Flynn mm -hmm. um, for YA. And she wrote this YA thriller mm -hmm. called All Eyes on Her, which I loved. Um, right. And it's very rare that I like a YA thriller because they, they're just usually like 9 out of 10 or like miss. Um, but it's funny that like the y her YA okay. might, might turn out to be higher rated by me than her adult. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Fair enough. Interesting. Um, okay, let's see. So somebody read seven pages, nine percent. Nice. Yeah, I hope people like the video. Yeah. Downside to reading a digital arc, not really able to figure out the page count. Yes, true. True that. Awesome. Had a video going up. Cool. Hi, Britt. Oh, good. Yeah, no, hopefully it's fun. I mean, we're kind of doing some sprints in between voting on the Goodreads Choice Awards. So. <laughs> but cool i'm glad you glad you popped in speaking of which let me add this back so to the stream science okay and technology so, i think it's where are we? Have zero science and technology yeah this is gonna this is gonna be quick than the next couple because like i don't know how much less but if you guys have oh, comments God. let us know we're gonna do the next Never five mind. sorry that was the other one i was like i'm only just now realizing there was a bill o'reilly okay. on the other one. Oh yeah yeah Okay, science and technology. I have not only one that's read familiar any of these. is fast for flights, and that's only because it okay. sell a ton of them. Yeah, I know. I've heard good things about H's for Hawk. I've not read it, but I I hear it's good. Um, yeah, I have not read any of these. If anybody in the comments has something they want to say, let us know. Um, I will not be voting in this category, so. Anybody else? <laughs> I'll give it a I don't know. I yeah. I don't. I don't have anything to say here. Um, that's interesting. No filter. The inside story of Instagram. That could be interesting. I haven't even heard of a lot of these books. How to argue, argue with, with racist. racist? Interesting. Okay. It's interesting. Huh. That's under science. Yeah. I. Like how sciencey is that? I, it says, "What our genes do and don't say about human difference." Oh, see, I don't know. If, I don't know how much I would like some of those arguments, but okay. I'm not seeing much in the com. Oh, okay, okay. We got a comment. Want to read the Book of Eels and Tango Life That Wild Country is just for Hawkstar? Okay, so like you want to read quite a few of them. That's cool. Vesper Flights is on holds. Yeah, I mean, I've heard Ages for Hawk is really good, so that. I haven't read any interested in the bird. Okay, Meg, this is like your category of things you're interested in. Cool, awesome. Yeah, if you're interested in birds, fun. read migrations. Yeah, I don't know if I even really have a good um, guess at what would win here. Um, 
maybe I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, I they don't really yeah. have. I would say if I had to guess, I'd say best work lights. But again, that's just purely my yeah, knowledge of what people fair enough. buy. Fair enough. Okay. All right, let's move on. Food and cookbooks. I probably won't have anything to yeah. say on this either. No. But other people. Have Generally, food. what I do is usually for the past couple of years, like in a row. There's always been a Chrissy mm -hmm. Teigen or Chrissy Teigen. There's been a Chrissy Teigen book and I love Chrissy mm -hmm. Teigen. So I'll just vote mm -hmm. for whatever Chrissy Teigen book is there, but there's no yeah. Chrissy Teigen cookbook. So I've book. actually, oh, I've actually heard about this one. <laughs> Eat a peach. I read something about it somewhere and it sounded interesting, but it's, is it, is this actually a cookbook though? I don't, I think this is more of like a memoir than a cookbook, mm, but it's maybe. a food and cookbook. So Okay, fair enough. So it's a food memoir. Yeah. Oh, and I guess dirt is too. Interesting. That's interesting. I've heard about that as well. I have not read any or used any of these. Let's look at the comments. Um, good buzz about breath. Okay, from the other one. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that around. Can't go wrong with the Outlander oh. cookbook. Oh, do we have an Outlander cookbook? That's hilarious. I love it. What, what would be, um, I'd, I'd be curious about what's in that cookbook though. Potatoes. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Idaho. No, kidding. No, like I, yeah, Scotland, no, I, I don't know. know. I mean, I mean, it looks like something with apples. That I'm sure. Very good. Um, I would love like, to I'm go on like an Outlander tour in article. Scotland, like when COVID's that would, over. Yeah. But. That would be interesting. I mean, I wasn't a huge Outlander fan necessarily, but. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I think Gordon Ramsay can be funny at times. Yeah. Is there like a, is, that, have, is that a queer eye? Is it someone from No. You write a cookbook or maybe I no, just remember right, last, year. Okay, last, no, last year. year. Okay. Last year. Anthony wrote a cookbook last year. Yeah. It was in here. Yeah, I don't really have guesses. So potatoes and that is Irish, you're right. I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> it's late. <laughs> yeah. <don't> know. <laughs> um <laughs> Frontier Follies sounds interesting to you. You just watch cooking show. Okay, cool. Okay. People clearly read cookbooks much more than I do. Oh, Unless okay. you're going to Outlander to grow there. I, I, I want to go to Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. There's like, apparently there's, there's literally, a, it's, I forget what it's called, but there's literally a <laughs> book town in Scotland. Um, just like a town mm -hmm. full of bookstores and whatnot. And they have this like Airbnb where you live like above the bookstore um, and then you like run the bookstore that's like below it for a week and oh, mm -hmm. like, it's always booked like a year in that's advance cool. but it sounds so Oh, cool. that's really cool. That's fun. Yay, actually we have a street sound. Awesome, love it. Love that. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Graphic novels. I have not read very many graphic novels yeah, this year. I'm so, so surprised that Class Act isn't on here. Um, oh, Monstrous got written in. I haven't read this volume of it, but I generally love Monstrous. And Adventure Zone, I think, was written in as well. Fence. I hear good things about Fence. Yeah, same. In the yeah. Heartstopper books as well, I hear good things about. Yeah. Yeah, I've not read any of these. Oh, I, and I've then, really not read much this oh, year. Oh, gosh, what's it called? The, the one that's next to Check, please, like, uh, to the right. Uh, the stars um, one. When stars are scattered. Yeah, I've heard mm -hmm. phenomenal. I have it. I've heard phenomenal things about it. Oh, good. About, like a refugee yeah. camp in Kenya, I think. Um, Interesting. And a boy who takes care of his brother who's nonverbal. Um, mm. yeah, I'm really surprised Class Act isn't on here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Oh, Carmen Maria Machado wrote a graphic novel. Interesting. I. I'm going to check that out. <laughs> I really like every. I love both yeah. things I've read from Carmen Maria Machado yeah. this year. So I'm like, ah, oh, sure. Let me see what else you're writing. So I'm just like, I'm okay. so surprised that Class Act is on here because it was so mm -hmm. good. But also, mm -hmm. New Kid was like huge last year, and it was like the, mm -hmm. and then it was even bigger, like, like because it was the first graphic novel to ever win the Newbery. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, if you haven't read New Kid, read New Kid and then read Class yeah. Act because it's just as good, if not better. It's, it's so good. Interesting. So somebody read Fangs and didn't like it. Okay, good. <laughs> so, Diary oh, of a Bookseller by Big Sean. Town. Yes, that's what it's called. Oh, that's cool. Hi, Natalie. Read The Lola Woods since it 
appeared in the first round and loved it. Okay, great. Good to know. Yeah, I'm going to check that out because I love everything I've read from her. So I'm like, Carmen Ray Machado, sign me up. Sure. Voted for Heartstopper. Okay. <laughs> you haven't read it yet. Yeah, I've, I mean, yeah, I've heard it. That story of me in the Obama one. <laughs> Red when the stars are scattered, interesting, but also sad, though hopeful at the end. That sounds sounds about right. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been loving the Check Please books and Fence. I feel like Fangirl is probably going to win, though, because Rainbow Rowell. Yeah. <laughs> so, that would be my guess of, like, what... Um, yeah. yeah, that seems... Oh, I am almost American girl. I feel like I've heard some stuff about, but that would be my, that would be my guess. Or maybe the Joe Hill. Other people have guesses. I don't know. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not voting in that category. So let's go to poetry. I probably haven't read these either. I don't, I mean, honestly, I don't really read poetry much either. Yeah, oh, know. Lois oh, Lowry wrote poetry. Interesting. I've read one. Good for you. <laughs> oh, surprising. Nikita Kill has a, has a new thing. I like, so I've actually read a collection from Nikita Kill and really liked it. Not everybody does, but I did like that. So I'm, I'm like, Yeah, I voted off. for uh, swimming lessons. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Which, despite being a celebrity book, I know. quite enjoyed. Was really oh, good. Fun. Glad you glad you caught it. Open book is the name of the bookshop, and with ten, you can stay at it. Run for bit. Okay, cool. That's cool. that's such a fun fun concept. Yeah. Um. Okay, so yeah, I've. I mean, I've seen some of these. I feel like I've seen Whale Day a lot of places. Margaret Atwood has poetry. Interesting, interesting. I wouldn't be surprised though if Swimming Lessons wins because it's who the author is. Um, where's that? But then again, I don't know much about poetry, so. Yeah, I, I have no, <laughs> I have like very, very little to say about those. I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Thoughts in the comments? Anybody? I can tell I read a lot about bookstores. <laughs> Poems for the End of the World is by a booktuber. Oh, interesting. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Which one is that? Where is that? Not to get in mind. Um, oh, 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 the one with the astronaut. Katie Wismer. Oh, okay. Yes, that's interesting. Is that a write-in? Like poetry, haven't heard about any of them. Super casual, yeah. The cover of the tape, yeah, it is a cool cover. I mean, I think, I don't know. I've never been a huge poetry reader. When I do occasionally read it, sometimes I like it, but I just, I think I always have so many novels on my TBR, it's not something that I kind of go out of my way for, so. Maybe I should read more sometime. The title with the shoe on it sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so like if I was gonna be interested in anything, maybe The Girl and the Goddess, just cause I've read another collection by Nikita Gill and really liked it. I don't know if this would be so much my jam. I read her Fierce Fairy Tales one and really liked that a lot, but fairy tales. So, I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. very much up my alley. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so what have we, we have, have I, I have not voted in anything. Okay, so we'll do <laughs> debut novel. I will vote in the next category, guys. <laughs> it's like the least interesting category, like section of the category. Okay, debut novel. Um. Okay. Ah, Ray Bear. That was my write-in. I, yeah, so I wrote in A Breath Too Late, which obviously mm -hmm. wasn't going to make it, but still, I too um but of these and uh, i vote for ray bear because ray bear is ray, it, yeah it really is it's such a good debut the year of the witching is also a really good debut um how many of these have i read i read cemetery boys which was great i see why people love it, it wouldn't be my pick for best bone Shard daughter was also very good but 
want to watch was crap <laughs> or something worse than that. Yeah. In your opinion, I'm sure. Um, I mean, I gave it two stars. I'm not, I didn't like hate it entirely. It had some cool ideas. I just didn't like. I will say, I think it's like one that. of the books, like even if you didn't hate it, like I feel like mm-hmm. I've never, like that's, I've never seen a book frustrate you as much as that one. Yes. <laughs> it was very frustrating. That is exactly the word. It was a very frustrating book. Um, let us know in the comments thoughts. I don't know what I think will win. I feel like my dark Vanessa is probably going to win this. Yeah. Or the Kylie Reid one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, what am I going to vote for? Ray Bear or the Year of the Witching? I think they're oh, both Jane Austen's so good. Is also there. Yes. Which I really liked as well, but it's not, I probably wouldn't be my pick for best debut. I'm going to vote for The Year of the Witching because I didn't vote for it earlier and I really loved it. I do really like Ray Bear and I'm, yeah. I'm happy, like super happy to see that it yeah. made yeah, that's, that it. That was my pick based on the categories. But I will say that of mm-hmm. the YA fantasies that I've read this year and particularly of the YA fantasies that I think are about like Black Girl Magic, it mm-hmm. wasn't my favorite, but I still really loved it. I thought it was just super well done. Oh yeah, it was but not. Um, yeah, I remember her panel, yeah. like the panel on your panel at the social distance yeah. podcast, like just how she was like talking about the amount of cultures and like countries and whatnot that mm-hmm. inspired it, and like how much work went into it. And she was <laughs> like, "It was a mess," and like I think I did a good job, but I don't recommend it. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it was it was really well done. Um, Probably read the amount of books to choose from when it goes down. Yeah, I think that's that seems like a cool idea. Picky with poetry. Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, I, d- I hated poetry in, in high school. Like, I still don't really like poetry all that much. But, like, now I've mm-hmm. since found, like, Elizabeth Acevedo and, like, YA mm-hmm. books that have written in verse. But, like, I just. Yes, I'll poetry. do that more. I, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I just, I don't like know. They, all they had you read was, like, poems written by old white dead men. And. <laughs> So, and they'd also make you write poems. So I would just write poems mm-hmm. about how I didn't like poems. Like I even wrote a sonnet about how I did not like the sonnet. And I remember being very salty because I got an A minus on it because the teacher said I didn't follow I am the pentameter perfectly. So still don't like sonnets. Wow. But. That's so funny. I like, I see sonnets I can do. Like I like Shakespeare, but yeah. Um, Jane Austen Society is great. So hopefully eventually the whole goes down it's it's very charming very is it charming, it's historical thing. fiction right or it's historical fiction yeah um it's about a group of people who live in the town that jane austen lived in um after world war two world war one after world war one I, I think um and forming the jane austen society and i don't know it's very character driven and charming and i liked it it was good yeah, maybe Cemetery Boys. It's been doing pretty well. Yeah. Congratulations. You have a book releasing. That's awesome. Yeah, it also made the long list, I think, for Nash- for the National Book Award, Cemetery Boys. Look hard to understand. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I mean it's it's breaking all kinds of barriers, yeah. And barriers, yeah. That's been yeah, it's a very it's a it's a strong debut for sure. Doing a lot of cool things. Okay. Wow. It is so late. (laughs) Um, Okay, guys. I think what we're going to do is this. We will do a 15 minute sprint and then we will vote for the rest of the categories. And then I am probably going to get off and get ready for bed because this has been much more time consuming than I thought it was going to be for all the voting. So, um, wait, how many categories are left? Four, I think. But they're ones that we're probably going to have a lot to say about. So, oh, yeah. um, so the one yeah. ones and children's. Okay, so we're going to do a shorter one. We will work until. Can I can I do math right now? Ten <laughs> fifty five. <laughs> what time is it anyway? It's like I'm not it's sure. late. <laughs> it is late. Is the answer. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, guys. So we're going to sprint. Do productivity sprints for 15 minutes and then we'll check back in to do our final votes and then I will say goodnight. Okay. Check in soon.
right, that's time. My my ear pads ran out of battery, so <laughs> hopefully we don't get. <clears throat> Gosh, my book is getting really good. I only have like oh, good. Hundred pages left. So. Let's go. Cool. Let us know how you guys did. I finished prepping one video and started on the second. So a lot of very exciting behind the scenes YouTube stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I so that one Guernsey Literary Potato Peel Pie Society. I have heard really good things about that, and it is on my TBR. I really like the movie. I, I want to see the movie. I've heard it's good. My my lengthy TBR. I have a lot of books on my TBR. Um, yeah, hopefully that comes through. It's good. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about my Dr. Vanessa. So let us know if any of you guys got stuff done during our little last sprints, and I will pull this up. All right, here we go. Young adult fiction. My jam. A minute. <laughs> Let the dog out and got ready for bed. That sounds great. I will be Lucky. for sure going no, to bed dog, right after this. It's late. Yeah. So thanks to everybody for hanging out. Um, all right. Let's do this. Young adult fiction. Okay. Oh, yay. Okay. You, you should see me in a crown guy. Okay. I've read one, two, three, four, five. Seven. I've read nine. I've read seven of them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's others I want to read. So I've read You Should See Me in a Crown, which was great. Tweet Cute was yeah, I read good. Tweet I really I liked it. Love, it was fun. I didn't love it. Everyone else loved it. I thought it was cute. And I was like three star for me. Well, you know what? I So it's a retelling yeah. of You've Got Mail, <laughs> which I love. So I've. <laughs> Every time anyone mentions anything Nora Ephron, I just, I start laughing. Okay. I probably, so my grandmother went to college with Nora Ephron and right. they did not like each other um, for a very stupid, very petty reason having to do with the school paper. And so obviously like as a film major, I studied Nora Ephron and like I look up to Nora Ephron. Meanwhile, my grandmother is like so bitter <laughs> but to this day even though Nora Ephron like died like 20 years ago <laughs> wow well I really liked You've Got Mail and I liked it as a retelling of it and it it made me laugh tweet cute made me laugh a lot actually so um yeah that would be interesting a YA mystery thriller category yeah, yeah. I can see that that being yeah because i think i know what i actually you know what i think last time because i was trying to get like all of my favorites in there and like just like really stretching the categories like again like i put addy larue in for historical fiction i think i did this is my america for mystery thriller oh. uh, like i did a write-in for that like again kind of stretching it but i just wanted to get it in there oh you know what? This is my America. I did it as a write-in. Yeah, yeah. I that that that, made is, it. De that's that would definitely be my pick as of the list right now. Yeah. Because that's definitely in my top five favorites of yeah. the year. Um Clap When You Land, I wanna read. I really like Fantastic. The I've read from her. We did have um, that with her in August. It was just Yeah. Punching the Ear was good. So One good. Grown was I, so good. I, I liked Majesty. I loved was Majesty. I loved it so much. I think that's what I voted for last time. Um, I have Inheritance Games. I read Inheritance Games. It was fun. Three stars. Yeah. Hand cool. on the Wall was really good. It's like, again, third final book. Well, not really. Third book in the uh, Truly Devious series. So Grown. I really loved The Gravity of Us. I feel like I'm in the minority, kind of. Um, but I really loved it. So mm -hmm. I'm actually going to vote for that. I think it's the only one of these that is on my favorites list for the mm -hmm. year. Yeah. I really liked yeah. Grown. The, Grown was great. Um, I've heard it's good, yeah. But yeah, This Is My America is my pick, though. Majesty comes in, I think, at a close second. Yeah. Like Tweak Cute, not as much yeah, as Yeah, that's how I feel. 
Fair enough. I feel like maybe it was overhyped. I read it early because I had an arc of it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So I didn't like have a lot of expectations going in. But yeah, I thought it was adorable. I had a good time with it. I think I yeah. gave it like four or four. Yeah, I've read an arc of it too, but I think, but by the time I read the arc, lots of other people had already read it and it was very hyped. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I want to read the Inheritance Games. It, looks it fun. was fun, and I really like that. I really like that author. Yeah. Um, but I want to read this one, Beth. I've heard it's really good. I've not read Furia, but I um, I know someone I know, Maggie from Stormy reads a lot. She she read it and said it was amazing. So yeah. is a Reese's? I know it's a Reese's YA. Yeah. Pick. Um. Yeah. I just, I loved everything the Gravity of Us was doing. Um, I thought it was so smart and interesting. And like, some people seem to think it was doing too much, but I thought it was great. Yeah, I haven't read it, but I just, I love This Is By America so much. Mm -hmm. I love everything about it. And I just, the author is just a phenomenal, <laughs> incredible human being. Like, mm -hmm. I, I can't sing her praises enough. Like, we did an event with her and july like right before like maybe a week or two before the book came out and then actually later this month we're doing kind of a different event with her but she's just she's doing so like incredible work like in her other she works at a university um and she's doing like incredible work but mm -hmm. i will say she she said that uh so she has two kids and she, i think she has a six-year-old and she said that the other day that her six-year-old said um he felt that she felt bad for joe biden and Kim was just like, what, why? And the six-year-old, like, six-year-old says, mm. because he shouldn't have had to work that hard to beat Donald Trump. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. There some good choices, we'll do... though. Why? Are... Fantasy. Oh, well, what do you think? Oh, shoot. So what do you think is going to win? I did not do that on purpose. Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Karen McManus won. won. Yeah. Felix Ever After, I feel like I've been seeing everywhere, but I don't know if that's just booktube. Um, yeah, there are some of these that I'm kind of surprised to see here. Like, I would see. I wouldn't be surprised if I think you should see me in a crown grown punching the air probably imagine i feel like i'm listing all the ones that are my favorites but mm -hmm. majesty potentially um go back up um, um yeah i think one of us is next um clap when you land potentially um yeah i don't know it's yeah i don't a bunch of ways yeah i don't really know i feel like Maybe I feel like I've seen Felix Ever After a lot of places. Yeah. Um, you should see, and you should see me in a crown has done pretty well too. I mean, a lot, you know, a bunch of these have. I don't know. Yeah, I still understand how that didn't make the bestseller list where it sold when it sold out literally everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Felix or Clap when you land. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Not probably not my pick, <laughs> which is fine. All right, let's do why sci-fi and fantasy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how many of these have I read. I've read one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, nine. I've read ten. <laughs> I've read a lot of these. I've read nine. Okay. In this book four. Um, um, a song of raised in ruin. Great. Yeah. Midnight Sun, not even going to comment on. Yeah. The Shadows Between Us, fun. So I loved The Kingdom of Back. Mm -hmm. It's, but it's very, it's more historical fiction than it is fantasy, yeah. but, which I think is why some people didn't like it as much, but I just thought it was beautiful. I really loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes. I really did love Cinderella is Dead. Um, I liked it i mean I thought I liked it that way. behind it better than the execution like i thought the first third of it was really good and then i don't know i didn't um i did really enjoy the ballad of songbirds and stakes again controversial but it that's again that's one of those books where 
if you don't have the background information behind what she's doing with it, like mm-hmm. the lot, like if you don't, if you haven't learned about like Locke, Rousseau, mm-hmm. um, gosh, what's the other one? <laughs> the three main like big philosophers from like what the nineteenth from like centuries ago, then mm-hmm. you're not going to get what she's doing with it. And again, it's still directed at a YA audience. So mm-hmm. assuming that all yeah. these teens, even though I, they likely learned about them in school, I mean, I did, but assuming that the teens are going to pick up on that is maybe a little bit. Yeah, I'm not super interested in reading that yeah, one. I, mean, I enjoyed it a lot. And it was, considering it came out during a pandemic, um, mm-hmm. it was a nice, having been a huge Hunger Games fan, it was a nice surprise like I mean not a nice surprise but it was a nice thing to read despite the I'm glad you enjoyed matter. it it's very controversial one. like the subject matter yeah um, I did really I, enjoy the queen of nothing yeah I haven't read that I really I'm interested with return of the thief I've not read it yet but I've loved all the other books in that series oh legend born so good uh, yeah, I'm I'm on I'm on hold for that one. And I've been hearing really good things about Fable and it just yeah. made uh it was like a Reese Witherspoon yep. pick. Yep. The Extraordinaries was great. Children of Virtue <laughs> and Vengeance <laughs> was terrible. Ray Bear, great. Ray Bear um, was great. Chain Chain of Gold, Gold was great. great. Um yeah, I there are some I'm, I'm surprised to see on here though. Like I'm I am I will say I'm surprised that the Extraordinaries is on here. Um that what is on here? The Extraordinaries. Uh, that was a write-in. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, I think the humor didn't, like, the humor was either hit or miss. Um, I It made me laugh so much. Like, it was totally my sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> so and I again, I'm not surprised that Children of Virtue and Vengeance is here, but should it, should it be here? No. Am I surprised that it's here? No. It's Yeah, it's not good. Of course, Cassandra Clare's here, which I actually really liked this. This is my favorite. Yeah. I th- I think my favorite of her books that she's written. At- yeah, I will say um, she gets like, better. like what's funny is like, I think I've read the first Mortal Instruments book and I have no interest in reading the rest of them, but the Infernal Devices, mm-hmm. great. Uh, Dark Artifices, Artifices, great. Yeah. Uh, Last Hours, great. You know. So. <laughs> I love the universe she's created. Yeah. It's probably I agree really with, yeah. anything that, that she puts out in it. But yeah. I'm looking forward to her at first adult book because I know she has yeah. that coming out. I feel like, Wait. yeah. Okay. So let's see. Voted for Song of Wraiths and Rome. That one is really good. Cool. Yeah. That was good. Definitely. Again, another, per- another author I did an event with. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like once you do an event with an author, it also just like I've never met done an event with an author or like an author that I've solicited to do an event with like have it, I've done events with like some local authors can be we'll just say they can be fill in the blank <laughs> yourself mm-hmm. um, they can be just a little bit pushy and whatnot but um, all the like, pretty much all the authors I've worked with have been are just so lovely especially debut authors who are just mm-hmm. so excited and just so grateful for all the support yeah. And I think that, like, when you work with them, like, even if you, like, just like their book, then you just kind of start to even like their book even more because you start to, because re- they, you start to appreciate some of the things that they were doing with it, like, maybe you didn't pick up on um, and whatnot. And it's almost yeah. like having a friend writing that wrote a book. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Of these, like, I would go, I'm going for Legend Born because it was so good. Cool. Um, yeah, so I think the Queen's Thief series is amazing. It's, it's, yeah, yeah that's true. Reagan does rave about it. It is so good. Um, yeah, I, I'm too tired to talk in detail about it because, but yeah, it's it's really good. Infernal Devices was, yeah, yes, yes, that bind up was that was really good. Yep, the sh- Ghosts of the Shadow Market Under Academy. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think or that- Holly Black. Or Holly Black, maybe. Although I feel like this one was less popular. Yeah, well, the thing is, it also technically came out in December of last, Mm -hmm. of 2019. So it's also, I feel like almost it's kind of, at this point, it's almost kind of, like, yeah, been there, done that. So (laughs) So, I did really enjoy it. It was my favorite of it. I think a lot, I I think that not, not not everyone who loved the series, and again, I'm not someone who 
like there are people who I know like I know like Kristen from Super Space she loves like the Quill Prince mm-hmm. like I don't like it as much as she did but I like at the series in general but I did I do really enjoy the series and that the third one was my favorite but again one person's opinion yeah <laughs> fair enough yes okay so I am going to vote for Ray Bearer mostly because I think like for me it's between Ray Bearer and Chain of Gold and I feel like yeah. Sandy is going to get enough votes so I'm going to vote for Ray Bearer in this category mm-hmm. um, slept on a Houston side <laughs> screen line for a movie wow oh the first oh, wow. Star Wars movie Beth that's so cool Oh, wow. So worth it. That's yeah, awesome. absolutely. And you're right. It was only the first one, too. And like, it was, wow. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I liked the first book, but I've not continued on. Partly because I think, from what I've heard, I think it goes in a direction that is not what I was hoping. But we'll see. I don't know. At some point, I. Yeah, I I'm really excited for like the illustrated short stories that are coming out. I'm like, yeah, I. I definitely pre-ordered the Owl Crate thing. I don't know why. It's not like I love the series. I just, they sent me the email and I was like, it looks so good. I'm going to get it. Like, yeah, that's what I did. I, it was like, one I of those did, like, yeah. I'm like, I don't know why, but I did. Yeah. But it yeah. And I haven't even finished the Ember and the Ashes series and I do plan on getting those very loot editions. So they went on sale today and like then they had to like shut down the sale. Oh, <laughs> so, boy. Yeah. yeah. I knew I couldn't but, afford those, but they are beautiful. There's some beautiful yeah. movies. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. Let us know, guys, what your picks are if you haven't already said. And let's do middle grade. I do think probably Cassie Clare or the uh, Ballad of Songbirds. Yeah. Yeah. We take that one, but love um, Hollow Pox. Just I think I finished that. Like th- I no, I, that was the first book I finished this month. So it was Hollow Pox. I read the first book in the series and liked it a lot, but I haven't. Yeah, that was a was that that was a Patreon pick, right? Or uh, no. Oh no, no. The first the first book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities was Patreon. Yeah, pick. not that I remember. Um, I read so I read a Tale of Magic as well. Um, it's a thing I lo- like the Chris Colfer series, the Land of Story series. Love them like so mm-hmm. much. Um, I recommend them all the time and the first book in that series came out when I was in sixth grade. So I was literally 11. And then the last book in the series came out when I was going into my senior year of high school. Um, and they never got old. All the books in the series were five stars. And then he came out with a prequel, like the prequel series, uh, which you can read without having read the original series last year. And I really enjoyed that five stars. But this one is the first of his books that I've read that I gave three stars. Like I just, it fell flat. Interesting. So hollow pox for me. Okay. Um, so I've only read two of these. <laughs> I have read Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson and Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, both of them were good. Yeah. Before um, the Ever After, like, I think I rated it higher. It was very good, but it's so short. I have mm-hmm. a hard time. Like, I don't know if that's weird, but, like, it's so short. I don't know if I want to, like, give it. It's like a novella in verse, basically. Yeah. Yeah, um, so, yeah. I, let's see. I really want to read Ghost Squad. I bought it for my brother, so I might, like, I'm interested from him. in Ghost Squad. Yeah. And I love the School for Good and Evil series, mm-hmm. so I will eventually read this one. I'm really interested in Clean Getaway. Um. I just I recently bought it, and same with the, the from the desk of Zoe Washington. Both those, the Nick Stone and the Zoe Washington one, have like a lot of deal with social themes. Um, yeah. And Clean Getaway, just it I don't know, it's like deals with like the the actual like Green Book, um, and I'm sure it does it in a much better way than the movie Green Book did. But mm-hmm. um, I don't know, I I love social issue books, like and I need to read more. I feel like I need to read more middle grade, especially like yeah. as a children's bookseller. Yeah, I don't read much middle grade. Yeah, I have been hearing really good things about King and the Dragonflies. Oh, yeah, same. Okay, same time. But yeah, I think I'm going to vote for Race to the Sun of the two that I've read. But let's see what people are saying in the comments. Need or want to read Wonder Smith and Hollow, Hollow Box? Yeah, I same. I've read the first Keeper of the Lost series too, and I really liked it, and I want to continue on. Um, Ashley did really like King and the Dragonflies. I've seen a couple people. And Kayla. Yeah, I liked the first Arya Shaw book. I didn't 
like love it, but I liked it. And a lot of people really loved it a lot, I think. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't know. Like, what do we think is gonna take it? I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if the Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan. Riordan it's one. yeah, I mean it's it's probably gonna be the Rick Riordan one. Yeah, that seems likely. I'm definitely a big fan of the School for Good and Evil series. All of them have been great. I just haven't read the the last one yet. Okay. Picture books. Now I've I've actually read probably quite a few of these. I probably haven't. Like I'm not we'll see, maybe. Um hmm. okay, let's see. Okay, I can tell you I'm I'm every good thing, hands down. Okay, you have to get that. But especially for Josiah, like hmm. that book is just I so incredible. Bedtime Bonnet is really cute. Anti racist baby, great. Um Yeah, I think anti racist baby is the only one that I've read of these, so Yeah, but I'm every good thing, like, oh just hmm so good um there are a lot of ones on here that i like i mean there are a lot of titles that i'm surprised aren't on here mm. um this is funny coronavirus <laughs> yeah for kids <laughs> the, the, for kid the coronavirus for kids yeah i think that was a real oh, and then of course of course the jimmy kimmel book made it on there <laughs> of course that'll probably win i wouldn't be surprised or anti-racist baby yeah but I will tell you, I anti-racist like that one too. But I'm a very good thing. Like the, I will say, like the, I think also stands a chance because it's just a lot of people are reading it. But it's just it is so good, and the illustrations just you have to read it. You have to get it. Okay, <laughs> I'll have to check it out. Especially um, for I feel like Jose I would love it. Yeah, I have to look at it. Lake Jar Shop, I got a little that's I mean that's that's kind of how I felt. Yeah. Wait, there's a magic market in the Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's giving me Star Daughter vibes. Well, yeah. that was just a magic right. night market, not I used to be better at binging series and yeah. I have too many things to read. Yeah, recurrence yeah. books usually win. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the last book okay. like series that I binge was probably in high school and is probably <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, we have picture books, but we we don't have a lot of new ones because they get kind of expensive and then the kids yeah. aren't interested to read most of them over and over. Um, but I would yeah. say that I just think I am every good thing. Like if I had a room for it, like, you know, there are a few picture books that I'm just like, I wish that I could, like I had a good reason to buy, but like, I don't have kids. I don't have nieces or nephews. Like, yeah. but like the Lupita Nyong'o book is so great. It's so mm -hmm. beautiful. I have every good thing. There's this one called If You Come to Earth that is so great. Yeah. One called um, All Because You Matter. And then Kwame Alexander wrote this one. It's kind of a poem, but it's called The Undefeated. Um, and the, the illustrations are great, but it kind of takes you through history of mm -hmm. being of Black being black in america yeah i mean there's a lot of great stuff i think part of the 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 challenge is ha actually having young kids yeah. a lot of times the books that like grown-ups think are great are not the books that the kids actually want to read a lot yeah and so like that's you know, very true so like the books that they request are like a daniel tiger book or a super wings book like based on tv shows they watch or like I don't know. It's just, or I mean, there's other stuff they like too. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's random, and usually it's things that are like funny. Yeah. Um, Maybe so, the Jimmy Kimmel one then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go for Anti Racist Baby because it's the only one I've read, <laughs> and it was good. Yeah. Like Bio and I got it's good. No, it's really good. Um, and I love but, that they make it in both a board book format and then in like the regular like yeah picture book format. So I mean, it's very short. So like, mm -hmm. it's yeah. but. Interesting. Weird Water Protectors is about Native Americans. That's cool. Yeah, no, I um, I'll have to look and see. I will say, though, that if I ever have, decide to have, if I ever have a child, that my baby shower will be book themed. Yeah. <laughs> like, but... A lot of these look cool. I just always think it's funny because, like, I'm sure these are not, like, the most popular books yeah. For kids, they're just like the ones that everybody wants. Yeah, no, but I'm telling you, I'm every good thing. That one, 
yeah felt so I don't under I don't know what it is like about that one like you know I do know what it is about it because it's it's great but Mm -hmm. I do know what you're what you mean that like kids want funny books and they want stuff that with you know with art I mean because I mean I know when I was a kid like obviously like pretty illustrations get to you but you also like illustrations that stand out to you that have bright colors and that you know have just some spunk to them Mm -hmm. um but like I just I recently read like a galley of one called are you a cheeseburger uh it was so so cute and it's about this little raccoon that finds a seed in a trash can and he like thinks it's gonna grow into a he befriends the seed and like thinks it's gonna grow into like a cheeseburger and then they're all wondering what he could possibly turn into um (laughs) of course he decides realizes that when the seed grows and when it grows into a flower he's like oh you're just your flowers are even better than cheeseburgers like it was so cute and so funny but like yeah I see like that book that's the kind of book that like would appeal to kids mm-hmm. more I think than like yeah on the surface and like I am every good yeah. thing yeah well I mean like you know for instance a book that's fantastic that we have is um uh in something I can't think of the first word in the title but something dancing in Congo Square or something like that or freedom in Congo Square um which is like this great like historical book that we've read and it's like a good conversation starter but like my six-year-old doesn't want to read it because it's depressing because it's about slavery (laughs) (laughs) so I mean we read it sometimes because it's important to like talk about stuff but I you know it's one of those things where I'm sure it's award-winning but is it the book that like the kids are going to want to go back to all the time? You yeah, know? that's the good thing about I am every good thing is it's really upbeat. It's like I am every good thing. I am worthy. Like mm-hmm. I am, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, and I I can't recommend the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> are you a cheeseburger anymore? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. send you a cheese. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll have to I'll have to check it out. I just find that like those sorts of like personal affirmation books, my kids are like, this is boring. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay. I'm like, I'm like, this is so good though. And they're like, mm, no, like, no. let's read the book. I'll send you, I'll send you the cheeseburger one. That one okay. I think is great. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's funny. Cool. Okay. Well, I think that's it. We did all the yeah. votes. Um, it's quite yay. Interesting Thank list. you for joining uh-huh. me. It's fun. It's now like almost 1130 at night. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's kind of almost this kind of like afternoon for me, though. But I feel like that's the life of college. <laughs> I'm like, I need to go to sleep soon because my children will be up at five thirty yeah. or five tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, I mean, I do have a class at what nine yeah. fifty five. Yeah, I should know what time my classes are, but yeah, nine fifty five, yeah. which is kind of early for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Well, with not that. really, but like. all right well everybody thank you for hanging out hopefully you were able to get a few things done and enjoyed the chat um i'm gonna say good night bye everyone